Okay, looking at worksheet nine, again, you only had to do the odd problems, so I'm going to do a few of these, not too many, because you don't have that many to do in the first place. You only have 10. Okay, so the first half, the top half, is asking you just to simplify, meaning we're just combining like terms. So I'm going to start here by distributing my three. Okay, and then I'm going to combine like terms. So negative 5n plus 21n is going to give me 16n plus 18. Okay, I jump to problem number 7. Okay, and again, I'm going to start by distributing. So I'm going to distribute a negative 2 here. So that's negative 2b plus 2c. Distribute a 5 here. So that's 5a plus 5b minus 5c and then the minus 14. All right, so combine like terms. So we've got a, 5a, you're going to have negative 2b and 5b. You're going to have Two C and negative five C, and then the last one that you have here is going to be your negative fourteen. Okay. All right. So combining A's, A plus five A is six A. Negative two B plus five E is three B, and two C minus five C is negative three C minus fourteen. Okay. All right. So eleven through uh, 19 for y'all will be uh, solving, okay? So inequalities, make sure the one special case is when you divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, you have to flip your sign. Okay, so here I'm going to move my 2x first. Okay, so I'm subtracting 2x. So that's going to give me 4x plus 2 is less than or equal to 6. And then I'm going to move my 2 is going to give me 4x is less than or equal to 4, divide by 4, and x is less than or equal to 1. Okay, there was no dividing by a negative there, so you did not have to flip your sign. All right, so number 15 is the next one I'm going to do. Okay, we're going to start, because everything's under this division bar, we're going to start by multiplying. So 5x plus 4 is going to be greater than or equal to 10x. Okay, a couple of ways you can do this one. I'm going to show you the way that we're used to doing it, which will be to move the 10x. I'll show you that's the second way. We're going to start by moving the 5x. I know I usually want them on the left, but there's no number over here. And then I would divide by 5, and x would be less than or equal to, because I do have to flip that around. So I'll show you. We've got 4 divided by 5 is greater than or equal to x. So I'm going to flip that around to get my x on the left and it's going to be x is less than or equal to 4 divided by 5. Okay, I'm going to show you the other way as well. Okay, so had we started here and gone the other way that we're used to, so we would have moved the 10x, that would give you 0 on this side. Then you would have to move the 4 and divide by negative 5, and warning, warning, you would have to flip your sign, which ultimately gives you the same answer. It's just a few more steps. So I'm actually a fan of method number one on that situation, okay? All right, so the last one I'm going to do over here, we're going to distribute first. That gives me negative 5 plus 25x minus 40x minus 10 is equal to negative 4x minus 8x. Okay, combine your like terms. So 25 minus 40 is going to give me negative 15x, and negative 5 minus 10 is negative 15. These are the same, so we're going to put those together, and that's negative 12x. Okay, it is an equal to sign here. So again, I'm going to move the 15x. and divide by 3, and x would equal negative 5, okay? So I believe I've done almost half of your homework for tonight, so that shouldn't be an issue for y'all to do five problems.